Hey everybody, it's Mr. Carr again. Today we're gonna to be talking about 10C and this is our last thing to talk about with statistics and that is what's called a two-way frequency, okay? So a two-way frequency table is one way to organize, okay? Uh, that looks like almost like an A. So organize and determine the relationships between information from, at, <clears throat> well, I would say at least two categories, okay? Because we're looking at, oh, well, I guess it depends how we want to define categories. Never mind. We're going to call it two categories. I think I understand what that was. I mixed that up. My bad. Okay, so two categories. And what I mean by categories, we're going to look at this next example here. Students at a school were asked what their favorite elective was. The two-way frequency table shows the results. <clears throat> Here are my two categories. The first category is gender, either male or female here. The other category is the activities. So that's what's up here. So we're comparing activities that they liked, or I should say electives, I guess, not, uh, not activities. So electives. So that's the two categories we are comparing, electives to, gen uh, to gender. Now, electives, we have three different types. So that splits up even further. So we actually have a kind of like subcategories here. So in this scenario, okay, we can look at this two-way table and we're gonna answer follow-up questions, okay? So the first thing I wanna look at, just to kind of analyze a little bit, what we're saying in this row is that males prefer the tech class, seven, like seven males prefer the tech class, 18 males pre preferred art, 20 preferred music, here is the total number of males. And you can see, if I add those three numbers together, seven, 18, and 20, we'll get to 45. Same thing with the females. Six wanted like the tech the most, 22 liked art, 20 liked music. We add all those up, we have a total of 48 females who responded to this, okay? So that's what's referring to the total here. This is the total numbers here, add them up to 45. Total here adds up to 48. Going down between male and female, if we look at tech, 13 preferred tech because that's seven plus six. Okay, we can add the 18 and 22 together, we get the 40 that preferred art, and then 20 and 20 add up to 40 that preferred music. In the end, this number here, this represents the total number of students who were surveyed. And we get this number in two ways. We can actually add 45 and 48 together, that is 93. If we add this way, 40, 40, and 13, we also get 93. So it doesn't matter which way I go, if I go vertically or if I go horizontally, it's still the same number. So that's gonna answer my first question. How many students were surveyed in total? 93. When we get to these other parts, we get a little bit extra here. So for example, what is the percent of males that were surveyed? <clears throat> the percent of males, mm, that's worded awkwardly. I think it's supposed to say what percent of the students were male. Okay, I think that's what they're trying to say. So we have 45 males. So we're gonna take 45 divided by the total number of surveys. So that's 93. So I do that, I get the decimal number uh, 0.484, okay? So if I wanna turn that into a percent, we multiply that by 100. So that's 48.4% males were surveyed. How many males chose art, okay? <clears throat> Okay, so males that chose art were right here, that's 18. What is the percent of males that chose art? Again, this should have been more clear. If I talk about percent, I'm gonna assume if I'm just looking at the males, we're looking at that, that percent. So we want 18 males out of the total of 45 males that were surveyed. So 18 out of 45 is what I'm representing here. So that is 18 males out of the total number of males is 45. If I wanted total population, like how many males chose art out of everybody, I would do 18 divided by 93. It just depends on how we ask the question. So 18 divided by 45 is gonna give me uh, 0 0.4, which means 40% of the males chose art. What is the percentage of students that chose music? So this is just all students. So I wanna look at all the music students, which is 40 out of the total number, which is 93. So that's gonna be 40 students out of 93. So we divide that out 
and I get uh, 0 0.43, so that's pretty, we'll just round it there, 43% when I change that into a percentage. What is the percentage of females that chose tech as their favorite elective? Again, I don't like the wording of that, so I'm gonna assume the percentage of females that chose tech out of all the females. So there were six female students that chose tech out of 48, okay? So I'm gonna do six out of 48, and that's gonna give me a decimal of 0.125. So if I turn that into a percentage, I multiply by 100, 12.5%. So these are a little bit trickier questions when we look at these next two. Given that a student is female, what is the percentage of females that chose music? I think I've kind of been asking these questions like this. I've been answering the previous questions kind of like this one as well. So we're just gonna go with it. Given that the student is a female, so we're actually just focusing in on just this column here, okay, or sorry, row, what percentage of females chose music? So music was 20 out of the total of 48. So we got 20 out of 48. So I do that. And that is gonna be equal to 0.417, okay? Which means that's 41.7%. Given that the student chose art, what is the percentage of the student being male? So the given is art. So I'm gonna, let's highlight differently here. Art is gonna be this column, okay? <clears throat> so that's what we're working with here. It says, what is the percentage of males? So that's 18 males out of the 40 total art students. So I've got 18 out of 40 for this one. So I do that and I get 0 0.45, multiply that by 100, I get 45%. So I'm gonna go back and probably change some of these answers because I don't like the way it's, I didn't like the way it was written, <clears throat> but just to modify some of this one. So for example, E here, percentage of females chose tech. So I think that's supposed to be six out of all the students, which is 93, okay? So I'm just gonna leave the original on there just in case, but six divided by 93 was 0 0.064, well, 65, which is 6.5%. Um, I already answered D that way. So C, we said 18, uh, 18, students chose, 18 male students chose art out of the 45 males. So let's change that to 18 out of the 93 total students. So I got 18 divided by 93 gives me 0.194. So that's going to be 19.4%. Okay, so that is how we analyze this. Again, one of the things I really want to uh, really want to highlight we look at the total column here, that these numbers come from totaling in this direction. Okay, we add all those up to get to these two totals, and then we can add those up to get to the 93. Same thing here, we can add up the columns to get to that number, add up that to get to that, add up that to get that, and then we can add across and it should still be the same number of 93. So for the next example, we're gonna make our own frequency table. And we're gonna fill in with the information that we have, and we might have to fill in some missing information after that, we'll see. Survey of 50 people. So here's a key. <clears throat> we are automatically gonna do this here. And I probably should have said this, I already created my table, it takes a little bit of time, because we know that the frequency table is gonna be two categories, activities, which is right here, and gender, which is right here. If I look real quickly, I looked at what were the activities, I saw jogging, picnic, uh, jogging, picnic again, or fly kites, okay? <clears throat> so those are three things that are happening, jogging, picnics, and flying kites. So 50 total people were surveyed, that's gonna go in this lower right box. So whatever box number goes in here and here should add up to 50, and whatever goes in these three should also add up to 50. Of the males surveyed, nine like to jog, 10 like to picnic. Of the females, 11 like to jog, and one like to fly kites. There were five people total that like to fly kites. So five will go down here and 25 people that like to picnic. So 25 will be here for the picnic. So again, these are some of the totals there. So now I have some missing data and that's okay because I have enough information to get everything. If we look at the total number of people jogging, remember we can just add up these two. So nine plus 11 gives me 20. 
quick check time is 20 plus 25 plus five equal to 50. We're good. If there were 10 males who like picnicking and 25 total, the only way for that to work is if there's 15 females that like to picnic, okay? And I can do the same thing with flying kites. Five total, but only one female, the rest have to be male. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and total up going left to right. So I've got nine and 10 is 19, plus four is 23. And 11 and 15 is 26, plus one is 27. And quick check again, 23 plus 27 does equal 50. So that's the first part of this. We are given some incomplete information, but we can fill in using kind of just our numbers that what has to add up to where. Now I have enough information to answer these follow-up questions. I'm gonna go through these a little bit quicker. Okay, so what percentage of females are uh, like to, what, per, what is the percentage of females that like to picnic? So I'm gonna say that's out of the total. So females that like to picnic, there's 15 females out of 50. Okay, and that's gonna come out to point, whoops, point three, which is 30%. What is the percentage of people that like to jog? So total people would be 20 out of the 50. Okay, so 20 out of 50, which is gonna to equal to 0.4, which is 40%. What is the percentage of male surveyed? So that should be males is 23 out of the 50 surveys. Okay, so that is gonna be 0.46, which is the same as 46%. And what is the percentage of males that like to jog? So males that like to jog was nine, out of 50. So that's going to be 9 out of 50, which is going to be 0.18, which is the same as 18%. Uh, what is the percent of females given that they like to picnic? So this is that given statement. This is where we're going to limit things now. So given that they like to picnic, we're going to focus in on just the picnic column. And then females was a 15 out of the 25. Okay, so we're going to do 15 out of 25. So that's going to give me 0.6, which is the same as 60%. What is the percent of people that like to jog given that they are female? So we're going to look at the female row. Okay, so female row right here. So that means again, we're focusing on the 27 total female. Oh, that did not. Sorry, give me one second. Okay, we're gonna have to do that part again because we got uh, my screen froze up and I did not realize it until just now. So uh, where I left off before the screen uh, screen froze up, it said, what is the percent of females given that they like to picnic? So when I come back up here, the given is that they like to picnic. So I'm focusing on just this, whoops, I didn't want that. Uh, I want just the picnic column. So it says, what is the percent that they are female given that they like to picnic? So that is gonna be, 15 females out of 25 total. So 15 out of 25, which comes out as 0.6, which is the same as 60%. What is the percent of people that like to jog given that they are female? So again, the given is the female. So in this case, let's go with red. We're gonna focus on this row, <coughs> meaning my total is 27 females. And we said the percent that like to jog so it's 11 out of the 27. So 11 like to jog out of the 27 females there. So we do 11 divided by 27 gives me 0 0.4407, which is the same as 40.7%. What is the percentage of females that like to picnic? And again, since I didn't say a given statement here, we're going to do the total number of females that picnic. So 15 out of the 50, okay? So that's gonna be 15 out of the 50, which is the same, wait, that's a repeat of that earlier question. H is the same as B, that's awesome, fine. Which is 30%, whatever. Okay, what's the percentage of those that like to fly kites? So flying kites, again, that's gonna be out of the total. <clears throat> five like to fly kites out of the total of 50 people. So we're just gonna take five out of 50 which is gonna to equal to 0.1, which is the same as 10% like to fly kites. Okay, now that's it for our two-way histogram, uh, sorry, two-way histogram, two-way frequency tables.
Lots of times you'll have to fill in missing data like we did here, but bottom line is we are comparing two categories. Um, this is a common one where you do males and females versus what activities they like to do or whatever things that are going on in that scenario. We total up this way to that row, we total up that row. Those should total to the total number of people who surveyed. And if I do the columns, we do the same thing. So those will all total that way. And then if I go that way, it'll also total to the total number of people as well. 